What's up guys, welcome to your 29th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over shadows. Now, well, I guess, let's just go ahead and get started. Enough with me talking. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open a new composition. And by open it, I mean make one. Uh, let's just go ahead and drag clip right here, get rid of this one. So now we have just a basic clip. Uh, you can even have a solid if you want, but I'm just going to have a clip. Let me get a good still of me. And, and, oh yeah, that's a good one right there. And now, I made this uh, little thing in Photoshop, and it's just uh, my name. And make sure that when you make it, it has some alpha, which mean, uh, or transparency, you might call it. So as you can see, um, this has some transparency, you can see through it. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create a new light. So go ahead and click Layer, New Light and make sure it's any light besides ambient. Ambient means pretty much covers the whole thing. Spotlight, um, yeah, just put a spotlight. And make sure this little cast shadows box is checked. Now go ahead and click OK. Bam, look at that, nothing happened. And let me tell you why. Um, first of all, whenever you make a new composition, 3D is off by default and shadows can only cast on 3D. So go ahead and click those 3D boxes just like that. And now let me find my Z and move it out. Now, as you can see, we still aren't really getting any shadows. And when I mean aren't really, I mean we're not getting any shadows at all. And that's because whenever we want to cast shadows, this light is good right now. But we have to set up these layers so that shadows are enabled on them. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and click material options under your bucky layer and click uh, cast shadow see it's off go ahead and click on right there and now we don't have a shadow yet but that's just because it's not moved in the right direction so as you can see as we move this in the Z position we begin to get the shadow we're looking for but actually the shadow kinda sucks right now it just looks like pretty much like another layer really so we want to give it a realistic shadow so let me go ahead and change my intensity in my light uh... we're done working the only thing we're going to be working with now is light so under light options go ahead and give it a little more intensity brighten it up a little bit and now to give it a realistic shadow we probably don't want it this dark i mean uh... shadows just aren't that dark this is like solid black right now so what we want to do is lighten up the shadow darkness a little bit and there we go maybe even a little more but I want to make sure you guys can see it so adjust the shadow darkness and again this is under your light options um, shadow darkness now another thing that you usually want to do is take the shadow diffusion and this pretty much means the fuzziness of the shadow shadow darkness means how dark it is shadow diffusion means um, how fuzzy it is you probably want to change this to a few pixels like um there that's good right there 11 so instead of having nice hard crisp edges you have a little like faded away like a shadow usually is so I'm gonna put that at about 12 right there so again um, the key things you have to take note of is make sure the layer layers you wanna cast are turned to 3d make sure under the thing that's casting the shadow you have cast shadow on and another thing to make realistic looking shadows uh... you probably want to lighten up your shadow darkness and also your shadow diffusion wants to be somewhere in like the 10 pixel range or whatever you you know whatever is useful for your uh, animation so that's your quick tutorial on what shadows are and how to use them in after effects um... i'll probably well i don't know what i'm gonna be talking about in the next tutorial so i guess you're just gonna have to watch and see but thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned a little something, but not too much, of course. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to teaching you something in the next tutorial.